times have come to a pretty pass And contempt is growing fast Cause you think VAR is great But I think it's a farce We've had plenty of time to try And it just now makes me cry It looks as though it's never going to run Something must be I say it's onside, and I say it's offside, and I say, well, which bit? And I say, his armpit. What? Onside, offside, which bit? His armpit. Oh, come on, let's call the whole VAR off. I say penalty, and I say no penalty. I say liar, and I say diver. Really? Penalty, no penalty, liar, diver. Let's call the whole VAR off. Uh, oh, if we call the whole far off, John Moss will cry. Oh. And oh, if John Moss will cry, then that might make me smile. At least we grill something. Yeah. You like the delay, I say it's okay. You love the drama, I think it's karma. Can't we just go back to what it was though? Better call the VAR off Let's call the whole VAR off I say handball And I say accidental I say new rules And I say screw your new rules Handball Accidental Ah, uh, new rules I hate these new rules Let's call the whole VAR off I say red card And I say that's absurd And I say what's wrong with ya And I say use the monitors Red card Absurd What's wrong oh, with ya Just look at the monitors Let's call the whole VAR off But oh If we call the whole VAR off We're in the dark ah. And oh What we gonna do with the boys at Stockley they could go into politics. You like those little lines. I think they're pretty fine. Oh, you love that square hand thing. I think it's daring. Can't we just go back to what it was though? Better call the VAR off. Let's call the whole VAR off. I like Craig Pawson. I think he's awful. Well, I like Chris Kavanagh. Oh, I've had enough of you. Pawson. Awful Kavanagh, get out of here. Let's call the whole VAR off. I like Swarbrick, I think he's a. I like Kevin Friend, and I think he's a. Swarbrick, he's a. Kev Friend. Let's call the whole VAR off. But oh, if we call the whole VAR off, we still got Mike Dean. That's true. And oh, my dear, if your box office, we can both agree, agree, agreed. You like the delay, as I said, it's okay. Oh, you love the drama, I believe in karma. Can't we just go back to what it was though? Better call the VAR off. Let's call the whole VAR off. I know it's been ages since I've done a video, but I'm finally back um, with a new one today. I'm so sorry that it's been, blimey, almost three months since I've done um, a video. It turns out that having a baby is quite time consuming. Um, but I wanna thank you all for your messages of support you've been sending me on here, um, on Instagram. It's been really nice and you guys have been so understanding and so patient with the fact that I haven't done a video for ages. Um, after my wife and I had a baby girl and it's been completely life-changing it in so many amazing ways it's been amazing uh, but it has meant that stuff like the YouTube 
had to take a bit of a back seat. Um, although I've been desperate to get some more videos um, up here and I've got hundreds of ideas and it's taken me ages till now to actually make one um, and it feels so good to be able to give you guys the video back and reward you for your patience because you've all been so nice and so understanding and I really, really, really do appreciate it. So apologies for having an extended break um, but I'm, I'm now sort of into back a, a bit of a sort of routine, a work routine um, and that includes doing these videos uh, so I'm hoping to get back to one a week. Um, maybe even more, because um, I've really, really missed putting up videos on my YouTube channel and interacting with you guys. Um, yeah, you guys are kind of the best fans ever. I still see some of you at football matches now and then, and you always wave and say hello, and um, yeah, you, you're really great fans. I really appreciate it. I'm so sorry it's taken so well to do a video, but I am back. Same as last words. And this week's song is about VAR. Pretty much the biggest issue in football at the moment. Now, a few months ago, I did a song about how much I love VAR, and at the time, I did. But there's been so many incidents over the last few months that I'm now starting to question whether VAR is going to work. And the, the idea of this song um, was to have the two sides of the argument, because I, I feel like, I know it was me versus me, but I feel like both those guys at times, like there are bits of it I like, and there are bits of it that really frustrate me, and I feel like that's the same with a lot of football fans. So there'll be some of you watching who have really agreed with the guy that hated VAR and some of you that agreed with the guy that liked it. I feel like probably more with the one that didn't like it. Um, but this is the thing, it's really divided people and it, you know, you could argue it's not worked at times. I'm a Palace fan and we've had quite a few decisions go our way. And I think, I was gonna say we were lucky. We're not lucky because I think they were the right decisions, but there were decisions that in the past probably wouldn't be given to us. So Arsenal away, you know, the penalty when Wilf gets fouled in the box and Atkinson books him for diving, and then we go to VAR, and it's a clear penalty. Um, you know, that wouldn't have get, been given against him before VAR. Um, and then the, the uh, third Arsenal goal, which I think, well, I think was a foul on Luca, but you know, you, I, you could argue it wasn't. And again, uh, was given at the time, and without VAR probably wouldn't have been disallowed. So we've been lucky, but then, a few weeks later, we had a goal at home to Liverpool, Tompkins scoring a header, um, and it was disallowed by VAR for a push on Lovren at the front post, even though it wasn't really much of a push, and actually it wasn't even in flight of the ball. So that probably would have been given to us without VAR. So, and that, those, those aren't the only instance. You know, Lundstrom away at Spurs at Sheffield United, you know, offside by a toe, basically, which never would have been given before. Firmino being offside by his armpit, you know, which was ridiculous. Vardy not getting that penalty at home to Watford, which is a clear trip, and then getting a penalty later on in the game for a hand in the face that probably wasn't as obvious as the trip. So there's been a lot of um, there's been a lot of incidents. In fact, even uh, Mike Riley, head of the uh, PGMOL, so the head of the referees in the Premier League, has said there's been four incidents already that the IR's got wrong, and that included Ev uh, Brighton getting a penalty at home to Everton, apparently that that wasn't a penalty. Uh, that Palace. That Arsenal goal against Palace that was disallowed, he thought, uh, should have stood. Um, where else have we got? Uh, De La Feo getting a penalty at home to Chelsea, um, which apparently was quite soft. But then, of course, De La Feo didn't get a stonewall penalty away at Spurs, which VAR also overturned. So I think what frustrates people is, back in the day, all these decisions would have still happened. And we'd be moaning, you know, on match of the day and on fan cams. Um, and it was part of the game. We knew referees were human errors and they made mistakes, and we'd be like, okay, well, you know, in the speed of the game, fair enough, they make mistakes, you know, these are, these are bad, but fair enough. And then when VAR comes in, they're still making the mistakes. <clears throat> and I think we kind of thought, well, they're gonna be ironed out, the big ones. You might still get little ones here and there, but these are quite big errors that are still happening. So, you know, it's frustrating, and I can get why people will dislike it. I can get why people still like it. I, you know, I've seen it work, so, you know, I feel like if we got to the end of the season and the Premier League said, do you know what, guys? It hasn't worked. We're going to go back to just having referees and linesmen. I'd probably be like, fair enough. You know, we tried and it didn't work. But if they get to the end of the season and these errors kind of like smoothed out and uh, it starts working a bit more, then, you know, maybe. But we'll see. Anyway, so that was today's song about the pros and cons of VAR, I hope you liked it. Um, comment below and let me know your thoughts on VAR. Are you pro, are you against it? Were you pro, are you now against it? Were you against it, are you now pro, or are you like me, sort of a bit on the fence a little bit? Um, 
it's difficult, isn't it? And I think a lot of it depends on what's happened for your team. Um, and as I said, as a Palace fan, we've done okay out of it. Um, so that's it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for, <laughs> I was going to say weekly, regular, hopefully, um, football parody songs like this one. I'm going to be writing my own songs as well. And I'll be doing um, some more kind of comedy videos like I was doing at the start of the season when I was reviewing all the kits and stuff like that. So uh, bear with me. There will be lots more videos. Um, I hope that you've, you're watching this. You're one of the guys that used to watch um, all my vids and you're still here. I hope, you know, fingers crossed you guys are still watching this. Um, bear with me. I do appreciate it. And that's it. For this week, I'm off to try and convince my daughter to be a Crystal Palace fan. It's pretty much the most important job I've got from now on. See ya!